All right, guys, we're out here. Um, it's the third day. I haven't really recorded much, but not much has been happening. Uh, this morning, we actually got within 80 yards of a, a, a giant 3x3. Three three. And um, just couldn't close the distance anymore. He spotted us. There were some people jamming by in cars. I guess that's what happens on public land. But uh, we're waiting here and seeing if these deer are going to start moving again. And if they do, we're going to make a stock on them. And we're right here where we saw the three by three and there was a, like a, a couple other pretty nice sized buck with, bucks with them uh, this morning. So maybe they'll come back in the evening and if not, we'll be back here in the morning to get them. But hopefully they'll come back and we'll see what happens. All right guys, here's the game plan. Day three, evening hunt. As you can see, we got the scope set up. Adrian's up there glassing. We're on this little hill. Behind me is the alfalfa fields. We were checking that out this morning and uh, we saw a bunch of bugs. They left the alfalfa field and they went up this trail and they went way up there. Maybe like five or six bucks. So now it's evening. We're gonna wait and see if they come down. Right here on this hill glassing, if they start to come, then we have this hill left and right to adjust and hopefully they pass right by us so we can get a, a shot with Adrian's bow. So we're here, we're set up, we're waiting. We got about an hour of sunlight. We'll update you and see what happens. Well wow, guys, what a crazy day today. Uh, it's upsetting because we keep getting within 100 yards of this absolutely giant 3x3 three three buck. There's a 4x4 four four with him also, but this 3x3 three three is huge. Has to be at least probably about 30 inches wide. He's just giant. Uh, buck of my dreams, actually. And uh, It just sucks because we got a bow and we got one more day. And I guarantee you if I had about three more days, I can get him because we're just starting to figure out his pattern, where he likes to go, where his tracks, everything and we got one more day to do it. it it's just crazy that they, they keep managing to slip a slip away on us because we're trying to set up to to get ahead of them and find them maybe put a stock on them and they switch it up a tiny bit and they just get away so we got a pretty good feel for it now and i'm hoping we can we can get them it's a lot different than white tail yeah a lot different than white tail they, they keep the same pattern they'll follow the same path every night same time these deer are crazy they just keep switching it up they're sneaky uh, see you guys tomorrow we're working our way towards the final hunt hopefully we can get on this guy get him early morning let's do this we're ready we've been waiting a long time for this stalking this guy i think we can do it I'm gonna drop Adrian. I know we can do that. And he's gonna walk about 300 meters to creep up on these guys. He's gonna be in their their path as they're leaving leaving this field. Okay. Good luck. You got the range Yeah. Right. Can't get it this time. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Hopefully. The bucks that we had been looking for were in the field as the sun came up. They were with six or seven does. They exited the field about 300 yards from where they exited the day before, which threw our plan off, so we tried to creep up to a closer position. And once again, the bucks were able to slip away about 100 yards from us and make it to safety up on top of the mountain. What happened? They got by us again. Yeah, they got by us again. He changed up his pattern. Day four, he comes off the, off the field probably 300 meters from, from where we were set up. And um, they just went out in a full on sprint. Full on sprint. So we got in the truck, went to the top of the mountain where we know they go down the bed. We set up and those deer must have ran 600 yards, 700 yards, just full on sprint. He 
runs by by Adrian doing about 40 miles an hour in the full sprint. <laughs> Adrian tries to make a noise to stop him and he just never stopped. He just kept going. It's amazing. He didn't stop once. Yeah, it's crazy. So we find ourselves five and a half hours from home. We've been out here sleeping on the truck for four days. And not sure what to do next. Do we try a different area? Do we try to stalk this guy? I'm not sure. Do we take a doe? What do you think? Take a doe? I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to make it out this way by the end of the year. Because we have an elk hunt to go on and... It'd be pretty easy to get a doe. They're everywhere. Get within 20 yards of them. We're spooking them everywhere. Yeah, a doe would be easy. We could do that, but we we're out here to, to trophy hunt. There are trophies out here, but we just... Not very many, though. Yeah. They're out here. We've seen like two or three that we'd actually get mounted. So it's a hard game. Our crew is no joke, especially out here in this open land in Nevada. You get close to them and they just, it's nuts. It's not like the East Coast. I used to kill, kill you know, seven deer a year. <laughs> That's true. Out here, it's just, it's rough. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we're trying to glass. We're trying to stock on these. There's fields way down. That's probably two miles away. And then behind me, once they make it past this little line of bushes, is the biggest mountain on earth up there. And there's a little valley going up. A little valley going up and, and they just run up that thing. And they're probably at 8,000 elevation. It's absolutely nuts. Are you defeated? Nah, I think if we were had more time, we'll just go about things differently and we can we could get them, but we're doing something wrong, so I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Looks like a rabbit. A rabbit was having a, a very nice meal, taking a dump at the same time. That's hilarious. I might not be able to make it back out here because I have an elk hunt pretty soon and we're planning on stuff possibly in Arizona and everything. And these trips cost a lot of money and it's about five or six hours away from home. I don't know if I can afford to take another trip back out here so I might just have to take the next next deer I see. Try to get something, whatever you see now, right? Do our tag. Yep. Adrian decided to take a doe, and this is his arrow. Went in the doe, and it's sitting here on this bush. It's covered in blood. Looks like a good shot. Let's go track her down. We're following the blood trail. She's still there, I'm running about 75 yards. She dropped over here. It's gonna be his first archery mule deer. If we can track it, which we can, there's a lot of blood. Oh man, there she is. 
a big doe. Yeah. Deer? Yeah, but I hate the shot. Not One, a bad shot the only thing about this bow is it's pretty loud. Both those deer I've shot at so far on this trip, they jumped. They jumped forward when I shot in this one. I have Luminox and it was about 30 yards. So yeah, I, I was. I would rather shoot a big mature doe than a little buck. So that's one reason why I also took one of these. A doe. Yeah, this doe was actually going with the little two by two. And I was like, shoot the buck, shoot the buck. It had little crab claws on top. And um, he decided he didn't want to shoot the buck. He'd rather shoot a doe because there's thousands of does out here. And uh, we'll leave that buck for the future. And this, this was a nice mature doe, so. This doe was probably 130, 140 pounds. She's huge. Yeah, she's pretty big. Well, I'm happy to get a deer here. And um, we, we've been out here four days trying to get on those big bucks and they just kept slipping away somehow and I mean I didn't want to take a, a little buck I don't want to waste I don't want to destroy an opportunity for someone else to possibly kill a bigger buck in the future because that little those little bucks are gonna grow so instead of killing a yearling buck I just decided to take a nice mature doe uh, this is a nice big doe right here and uh, I mean I'm not happy with the shot I, I took but she was at 30 yards and I took a shot in the arrow. I have Luminox so I could see where they're going. And I was going straight right here for the lungs. And she ran forward and jumped it. So I hit her in the back legs. But I hit an artery and she didn't run too far. So we got a nice doe here. We'll put some meat in the freezer. I'm going to make some jerky out of her too. Some good meat right here. She's a pretty big one. I think she's bigger than the one I killed last year. She's huge. All right. We'll get on the box. My soon. first archery mule deer. Hey, archery is tough. Yeah. Look at this landscape. This landscape is ridiculous. We've been on the top of those mountains. We've been on the side of them everywhere. This is our first West Coast archery hunt, huh? Yeah. Last archery. year I shot one with a rifle at 557 and I thought, I, I used to bow hunt on the East Coast and up in Washington State and I thought it was funner to get closer. So decided to try out with a bow this year and I like it a lot more. Up close and personal. Yep. All right, let's go get her cleaned up. Okay guys, we're cleaning this deer, and we're going to take the neck roast, and we noticed something. What are those in his neck? Looks like they're coming out. Yeah. They're worms in its neck. Oh my. All in his neck. There's he, tons of them. He's loaded with these worms in there. They're all moving around. That's disgusting. Look at get in, get in the throat from the angle. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. Wow. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this trip. I had a great time out here. I mean, we almost got on some giant bucks. There's, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. We had our fair, our fair amount of chances. But we just took the doe up to this spot. We gutted it. We didn't waste any meat at all. We took the neck rows, the flanks, the back straps, tenderloins. Took it all. And you guys saw them worms in, in its head. I don't know what those were. So if you guys know, go ahead and let me know. I'm not going to eat any of the deer until I know what that is. So thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. See you later. Thanks for watching.